In this video, we'll be going over remove nth node from the end of the list. So given the head of a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. Could you do, a, do this in one pass? So yeah, for example, we're giving the list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the node we're trying to remove is at the position 2 from the end of the list, so we have 1, 2, so we're trying to remove the node 4, and our result is 1, 2, 3, and 5. So let's go with the dot process. The node that we are trying to remove is at end from the end of the list. The node that we are trying to reach is at n plus 1 from the end of the list. So in this case, we're trying to reach, this is the n position, we're trying to reach the n plus 1 position from the end of the list. This will allow us to disconnect the target node. So, so let's denote n plus 1 as m and the length of the list as k. The node the node that we're looking for, the node is located at m from the end of the list, and the node is located at k minus m plus 1 from the start of the list. So in this case, we can say this is our third position from the end of the list, and the length of our list is equal to 5. 5 minus 3 is 2, and then plus 1, we get the third position. So basically from the start of the list, so it's 1, 2, 3, and then we get to node 3. This will allow us to disconnect 4. So we can implement a two-pointer approach. So one pointer fast will first move forward m steps. After fast moved, moved m steps, the slow pointer Another pointer, we're going to call it slow, moves in the same pace as fast pointer until the fast reaches to a no, to a no node. Why, um, why does this work? So, the distance between fast and slow is equal to m, because the fast pointer has already moved m steps, then when fast reaches k, um, k plus 1, because it reaches a null node, so it's after the list, so we, we can denote this as k plus 1. When, when fast reaches k plus 1, and since slow and fast has a distance of m between them, the slow pointer will be at k plus 1 minus m from the start of the list. This is the exact position that we want to get to, is k minus m plus 1 from the start of the list. These two values are the same. Then we can disconnect target node using the slow pointer. Now let's go over pseudocode, it will be, it'll be more clear. So we're going to create the following variables. So we're going to have f s head, which is going to be the sentinel head. The sentinel head will be a node that we're going to append to the front of the list, or prepend to the to the front of the list, because we have we're trying to handle a side case where if the input list only have consists of a single value, and and we're, and we're only and we're going to remove the single node. And also our slow pointer initially is also equal to sentinel head and our fast pointer also initially sentinel head and then we're going to set our sentinel head down next to the input list the head of the input list which basically prepends the node then we're going to move forward our fast pointer um, n plus one steps so when it iterates to the indices from 0 to n, denote it as i. This will allow it to move to n plus 1 because we're starting from index 0. So we're going to set fast to fast.x. Now we're going to move both pointers at the same pace until fast reaches null. 
12 fast is not null. Set fast to fast.next. Set slow to slow.next. Now the slow pointer will reach the node right before the target node. So we're going to disconnect our target node. Set slow.next to slow.next.next. That will disconnect the node and then return the sentinel head.next, which, which will be the new head of the modified list. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input list. Or we can, we can just call it k because we don't want to confuse it with the input parameter. Then we have O of k, visit each node once because of our fast pointer. And then space complexity is go to O of 1 because we just modified the input list. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create our sentinel head first. And then our slow and fast pointers. And then prepend our sentinel head to the start of the list. And then move forward. Um, move forward our fast pointer by n plus 1 steps. Now we're going to move both pointers until um, until fast reaches the null node. And then we're, we're going to disconnect the target node that's n from the end of the list. And then we'll return the new head of the modified list. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. So, uh, hit like and subscribe if you, if you like more content that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in this comment section below.